tell me about the puddle jumper. It's many a fan, it's their favorite ship. Really? Oh, tell, me, tell me <laughs> about bringing that little, you know, green loaf of bread to life. <laughs> well, well, the that was she... my first instinct when I saw it. It's like, is that a loaf of bread flying through the gate? <laughs> she is uh, based on a, um, in the sewing machine, there's a little um, shuttle. Yeah. <laughs> little, uh, right. It's, 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 it's got that shape. And so that was, that was what, that was my, that was where it came. That, like for me, everything sort of starts with a, a thing. Like the, the wraith dart came from uh, a um, hummingbird. Uh, okay. a skull of a hummingbird and so that's the and the whole wraith organic thing I'm just yeah. anyway, love that sort of stuff um but yeah so it so that was that was sort of where the the shape it had to be round because it was going through the stargate it had to it had to have some sort of we had to have uh we had to be able to see the actors yep. um it had to we had, we also had to travel it. Yep. Which it, I think was a smaller one, wasn't it? That you had to take outdoors? I, I, you I faked it we, a little bit? We, yeah, we faked, we faked it. Yes, we did. We did. And then I think we, we went a little bit too far. And then I think we went a little bit backwards. Oh, like no. we did it, we, there was a little adjustment somewhere. Because it was cut uh, down the center. You could see the line where it came apart. Yeah, yeah, it traveled on two. I mean, it had to travel on the road. <laughs> yeah. It, it it was a good little thing. It 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 served a lot of purposes and uh and then we like we did entire stories in there, right? I know. We, we had the where where poor Joe is what, what happened to Joe? Yeah, Radis Bug bit him in 38 minutes and the poor guy was laying in the back of the craft for the entire episode with a bug yeah. stuck on him. And then McKay yeah. was was envisioning Carter while he was underwater and Grace under pressure. Some of the best shows were contained in that little ship. Yeah, you so know, and the gak boxes yeah. that came down with the lights oh. and the I mean what yeah. a masterful little set. You in season one to season two, you evolved the console and added some lights on the walls. We, uh, we that was that was sort of part of like as we went we we sort of we built it with all of these sort of places where you could open and find something. It's sort of you know, the magician <laughs> box because yeah. we knew we knew we couldn't and we didn't want to see everything that we needed right for the next and we wanted to be able to open these things up and and go oh look here's the thing and now we have to do a thing anyways yeah it was a, that's i i like the so there was that vehicle there was our fighter what was our little fighter called the f it was oh the f302 F yeah 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 that was a nice little that was a nice little piece of scenery it's just and a cockpit that, and like the size of it and then the wings were digital mm -hmm. Yeah, again, you, we built as much, and you could, like, I remember when we were first built that, and we had it out on a runway, and we shot it practically, like, you know, and you know, it was wide enough that you could see enough of the, enough of the fighter that you believed that the rest of it was there. And it was on, again, it was on a flat deck that they were dragging around, and that was great <laughs> because you got all the, um, you know, you got all the clouds, and you get all yeah. the, you know, I, I don't think I don't think we took it outside after that. After that, we just shot it in the stage. Yeah, I um, remember a big, giant cylinder, with a cloud painted on it, and mm -hmm. you just spin the cylinder for the overhead shots when it was exactly. when it was shooting at this at the canopy, and yeah. then the canopy the reflection would go up. Yeah, yeah, and then you know, in in that case, we made sure like all the surfaces on that uh, little fighter were flat. And that was partly so that we could. Well, it's um, it's based on. Um, Isn't it just an F eighteen? No, it's based on. Um, there's a a stealth. Okay. A stealth fighter that has all the flat planes. Oh, I know what you're talking um, about. Yeah, so that's sort of where where that sort of started from, and. It's uh, the Nighthawk. Yeah. 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 Wild. So, Absolutely yeah. wild. The the stuff that you were able to create. 
<laughs> everybody enjoyed the puddle jumper. Oh so, man, it's yeah. it's one of the oh. it's one of the 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 iconic elements of the of the franchise. You know, you look at that and you know exactly what you're watching. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, in yeah, profile, yeah. whatever. It's it's that that can't be anything else. And yeah. you know, the iconography of that show is just has just withstood the test of time. You can see it across the room and go, oh, that's Atlantis, or oh, yeah. that's that's SG one. Um, uh, what? A, tell us about your love of horses. How long have you? How long oh, have you been a horseback rider? Every every um, every minute of my life. Um, one of my earliest memories was seeing a horse being ridden down the road and just thinking that was that was it. How many I do have, you have? I only have three. You only have, have three. Wow. One is, one's old. Oh. I have I have a twenty seven year old. Uh, he's actually that guy there. Oh. Um, and I have uh, two brothers, or half, they're half brothers. So um, one's four and one's 12. So the four year old is just being um, trained right now. I'm doing that. Much. That's what I'm doing in my time off. Um, and the 12 year old I'm showing. And wow. But, they are yeah, remarkable animals. <laughs> they are. They yeah. are. It's yeah. uh, it, when it, you, you, very special. You tr when you start to think about what you're doing with them, it sort of becomes kind of like, well, that doesn't seem like a good idea, but that's sort of, if you think about too many things too too much, it, it never seems. Well, it's, it's, uh, it, it's a good juxtaposition for you because, you know, you can you can spend all your time creatively on developing these amazing series and just the little facets of all. There's this great picture of you just in front of a, an ancient uh, uh, facade uh, with the cuneiform look and just bringing these things to life. And then you can go outside and go on a run yeah. with your babies. Yeah. And it's yeah. just that's that's great. So, Bridget, th I am thrilled to have had this time to talk with you. Um, I'd love to have you back at some point in the future to discuss more little details. You are a wealth of knowledge. The The work that you guys have created is appreciated so much by so oh. by continuing generations of people who are continuing to watch and, and, and find the show, find this show. Um, there's a little bit of immortality there. You know? Yeah, well, thank you. It was, it was, um, it was quite the journey. It was, it was, uh, an incredible experience and i'm i've been really really fortunate to work with you know like with brad and jonathan mm -hmm. and robert and 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 john um like they put such a good team together mm -hmm. joseph malazzi yeah. paul molly these guys are oh, i mean yeah. they're 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 amazing so. they are amazing and there's a and reason they're that they're hard to get a hold of because they're always busy <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching this clip from Dial the Gate. You can find the full live stream shows on our YouTube channel or visit dialthegate.com for the complete schedule. See you on the other side.